This map is so stupid. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. From A to B. Cap and then run down the hill. Do not try to cap yet, but instead, check down the rest of the path for anyone who might be slow. If clear, move towards B and try to cap. If you are successful, it's most likely because your team won the big fight, and therefore you should move into the BC gap, because people will be respawning and will sprint towards B again. From C to B. It's mostly the same thing, except you're going to go up the opposite side, which is still the left. Check up the hill before moving in. Throwing an explosive is a good idea here if you get a clear view. Do not be the first person to start capturing B, ever. If you cap, run up the plane to catch people respawning and blindly running back to B for an aggressive tactic, or run up the outside of the plane for a more tactical and sneaky approach. If there's one thing I've learned about this map, it's that nearly every game starts like this. Cap your own flag and then- OH MY GOD RUSH B FLAG RIGHT NOW! This is why you should never be the first person to start capping B. Everyone always looks down the main tunnel of the plane for potential enemies and throw a shitload of explosives and tacticals. Most of them never look any other direction. A lot of people also don't use flak jacket. A simple semtex and a couple of shots took out four people. Just don't be the first. This is a situation where you need to wait and clear out the enemy. What not to do? Well. If you didn't guess, don't rush beyond this map at the start. You have a significantly higher chance of dying if you rush it, especially by yourself. I didn't get to try the smoke rush many times, mainly because I didn't get this map a lot, and every single time I still died. Maybe if you did something like Riot Shield Trophy System Smoke Grenade, but even then you still have the two other sides to worry about. Rushing is incredibly difficult. Don't even bother. The rest of the game. Honestly, I'm not too sure on this one. My games varied dramatically on this map, ranging from everyone rushing around like maniacs in spots you wouldn't think people would be in, to everyone on the enemy team is a sniper and has every part of the map covered in a scope. I do recommend a mix of both, which is why I use an assault rifle with stock on this map. You have the long distance ability when needed, but you also have the close quarters combat capabilities when using the stock attachment. Stay around the plane for a good chunk of the match, but avoid going inside it unless you're initiating a surprise attack by coming out the enemy's side. Most people don't see that coming at all. Turbine blows. Get it? Because turbines spin and they blow out air? This map sucks.